Hey guys, it's so you're ready for it. So I'm going to try and do this smoothly. Top pin of this AR does not like to cooperate. But I'm going to conceal an AR-15 in a reasonably sized backpack that does not have a top detachable portion that would hide a fully assembled rifle. I actually have one of those backpacks. Um, here's the deal. So I watched the Senate hearing today and it had an FBI investigator dude there as well as the acting director of Secret Service. Well, anyway, senators asked him, had the shooter that attempted to assassinate Trump get on top of the roof? They said they do not know, but they assume it was, sorry, on top of the roof with a rifle. They assume it was with a backpack. There's a picture that circulated even online that was taken by law enforcement, local, of a bicycle with a backpack next to it, assuming it was to be the shooter's. Now, the backpack that I have shown here, I'm going to show it to you fully. I'm going to disassemble this, put it in the backpack, um, and reassemble it and show you something funny. Anyway, it's fairly similar to the size based on the wheel of what looks like an adult bike. Um, I don't understand how people don't think it's very easily possible that that's a possibility he did that. Um, and it's, it takes very little time to put an AR-15 back together. It's not like you have to disassemble the whole motherfucking thing and take everything apart. I mean, it's, I, I don't know, maybe it's just ignorance on firearm knowledge. I, I don't know. I don't know. But here we go. So hopefully this goes smoothly. But this foregrip <laughs> is really amusing, which is the part that... I'm going to show you that um, is hilarious at the end here. Anyway, he this is a DPMS Panther. Apparently, that's what he used. The bot the the lower is. Um, I just happen to have one, but I don't actually keep this lower and upper together. I just threw this together with some parts I had. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's nothing fancy by any means. I don't know what he used like any attachments or what it looks like. So, I mean, it's just a normal crap stock that, you know. They say that he had a collapsible stock and that's how he was able to stick it in a backpack. Well, this isn't, isn't collapsible. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, just the fact it's a DPMS Panther was just funny because I had one. And I'm not redoing this video, so if this pen doesn't come out very easily for a second, that's just life. Top one comes out fine. I think I got it. Yep. <clears throat> Plop. So, move some of this stuff. This backpack, see if I can get this in frame, is in Eberly stock. I actually don't like this backpack. This side panel right here has a bunch of stuff in it on the left side. It's fairly welly, well, welly, welly organized, and I don't want to take everything out of it. Otherwise, it would fold in well like the other one, other side, so it would be a pretty thin backpack. So just ignore this part right there. So anyway, what's also nice about this backpack, and if he was smart, he had one that had it too, is it's got a metal frame in it. You can see that. Yeah. Um, that goes all the way around it. And the only reason I say if he's smart is just so it doesn't collapse on him very easily and it stands up on its own. So anyway, the one thing I hate about this backpack is actually the top is a fucking drawstring. This is one of the first backpacks I got that I was just like, eh, whatever. So, it's got a large interior. You can stick a lot of stuff in there. And this top does come down all the way, so it's it doesn't expand or anything. So, this is how I personally would have packed it. I'm not popping the pins in because 
of the top pin likes to be a bitch so I don't care so that personally I do barrel down just because of the bolt carrier group extra part you'd have to put together if um, it fell out just waste of time it takes two seconds but waste of time cute little foregrip that turns into a bipod that I'm going to show you is really funny three magazines 90 rounds he only had 50 assuming he already loaded them <laughs> And an optic I haven't used in forever that I'm not going to put back onto it or put onto it because I actually need a tool for that. Obviously, there's many, many optics out there. It'll fall. Um, this stuff will fall. There's many optics out there that have this easily detachable type stuff. Is this even in frame? It'll do this. Mm. Kind of angle it a little bit. So then this part, these would have to open up a little bit. Not all the way because I'll close them a little bit. in frame mm. again this side's a little too big there you go easily concealable <laughs> not a problem not sure why people think it is a problem but yeah it's all in frame you're good to go so simple as that it's a possibility he did do that and like I said this backpack looks fairly similar in height and stuff and like I said it goes in so um, of what was next to the bike so I'm gonna put this together real quick and show you <laughs> the, the little bipod I actually got it off eBay um, I think let me think yeah I got it off eBay, and it is by far not the most stable thing on the planet, and you need a smaller round than a 30 mag to, um, not round, smaller quantity of a magazine for it to stand up on its own. So I'll just show you how it stands up on its own. <clears throat> uh, dust cover. Dust cover, non dust cover. So, I'll show you how it stands up on its own though, without the magazine in it. See if it works. Slide out, motherfucker. It did. Yay! Ta da! Oh, look at that. That was so difficult. So hard. That took forever. Anyway, this thing is by UTG. Okay? And it's got a little thing here to attach it to the Picatinny. Again, not all that stable. <laughs> but you press this little button here and plop pops out. <laughs> so I'll show you. It's funny. I like it. Kind of have to have it all the way to the front though. And this has a thing there, so let's see. Probably should have used a different upper to show this. Nope, it worked. So, pop it out. Oh, yeah, magazines in it. 
isn't quite, it worked. It's not quite flat, but it's got a grip surface to it. Isn't it cute? Isn't that little grip cute? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. It is not by far extremely stable, but if you're just trying to get a few shots off, got a decent optic, hold it well enough, you're good to go. Been there, done that, so I mean, <clears throat> so you can obviously conceal an AR-15 into a backpack without it looking completely ridiculous. Can you put it into a school backpack? No. Highly doubt it. You can put a uh, AR pistol <laughs> into a backpack that's for school, but apparently that's not what he used so far. So anyway, that's that. I really don't understand how people don't realize that concept. Probably should have taken that crap out of the side of that backpack because it really does collapse pretty tightly. Anyway, this is how you're ready for it. Take care, guys. Have a great day.